This video is about pesticides and kidney disease. Now, what are pesticides? Those are chemicals used to attack the nervous system of bugs so that you can keep these bugs off your property and especially used in agriculture and um, gardening where you wanna keep these bugs that eat your crops like fruit flies away from your crops. And you wanna kill them, keep them away so that you can have good produce, uh, have a comfortable environment in your house. And so these are pesticides. Now we know from other research that pesticides are not good for your kidneys. So there's another piece of research that came out January 1st, 2022. It was titled Pesticide Associated with Chronic Kidney Disease Study out of Australia. And it was published in the International Journal of Environmental Research and Public Health, January 1st, 2022. They looked at a common pesticide that's in most of the pesticide products that you would purchase over the counter and that are used commercially today. And they found people were at a 25% higher risk of developing kidney disease later on. And the more exposure, the worse it is. And from other studies, we know that if you have kidney disease and you're exposed to these pesticides a lot, it's bad for your kidney health. So what can you do if you work with this stuff or even if you wanna use it a couple times a year to help control uh, the crops on your property to help control the bugs so they don't eat up your crops. So if you're going to do it, you want to take a few precautions. If you work with it, you want to take a few precautions. First thing is wear long sleeves and long pants so that if any of that pesticide gets on you, it's going to get on your clothing first instead of your skin where it can absorb through your skin. You want to use gloves. Okay, that's a definite thing is you want to use gloves. You um, want to use a respirator or some type of mask if you can so that you don't inhale as much of it. So those, are some, so those are some practices that you can do to help protect yourself. Next, I would recommend taking some antioxidants like maybe vitamin E, vitamin C, CoQ10 that are all kidney friendly because what these pesticides do is they harm your body. So they harm the cells, more free radical damage. So you need antioxidants to offset that. The other topic is organic foods, organic produce, buying your foods organic. Now, I generally don't recommend that in our books when I consult, unless it's something you wanna take the extra step and do. Generally, just avoiding it when you're applying it is gonna be good enough. If you wanna go that extra step with organic food first, make sure you're doing all the dietary stuff first, all the supplement stuff first, make sure you're taking your medications. If it's in your budget, and you want to go a step further with organic food, that's fine. But if it's not in your budget, don't um, make it a point to force it because uh, the benefits haven't really been established with organic food versus non-organic food for, for kidney health. I mean, we do know that overall, if it's really organic food, it's better for you, but you're better off just doing the basic dietary stuff and basic supplement stuff before you change to a whole organic diet. If you can't afford organic food, or you can't afford that much organic food, you want to stick to um, animal animal products. Organic are big ones because that's where a lot of toxins store is within the fat of animal products. So that's where you get the highest concentrations. So if you are um, looking to move to organic first, you can look to the animal products first, and then your produce, not animal products later. But generally, I, like I said, I don't recommend that unless uh, it's within your means, it's within your budget, and you've done everything else to help kidney health first, then you can go to that type of stuff like organic food. But right now, just protect yourself. If you're going to apply pesticides, long sleeves, long pants, gloves, a mask, and some antioxidants. Check out our other videos we have, everybody, about how to support good kidney health. And to your best kidney health, everybody, bye.